the remarkable thing about Catholic social teaching is that it's something that in some ways the Catholic Church has been made the steward of. I mean, this idea about the intrinsic dignity of the person and solidarity and subsidiarity and the common good. Uh, these are ideas that aren't, they're consistent with special revelation, but they're also based on natural reason. In other words, every person, at least in principle, if they're thinking clearly, should be able to figure out there, that there's an intrinsic dignity to the human person. And so, of course, evangelical Christians and Protestants believe this too. Um, and I think in many ways it's kind of uh, the treasure buried under a bushel because I think it has profound evangelistic implications. I mean, the reality is that Protestants, more than Catholics, tend to talk about the importance of, of a worldview. And what Catholic social teaching is, is actually uh, a Catholic and broadly Christian worldview that is anchored in the historical reflection of the church in different times and places and political economies and cultural assumptions. The, this universal set of principles uh, that tells us essentially the truth about man, the truth about society, the truth about reality. Uh, and because of that, it transcends, say, our, our narrow uh, annual partisan debates. It has implications. It's not a political program. John Paul said, look, don't think of Catholic social teaching as a political program. It's its own thing but it has profound economic and political uh, and social implications that it, uh, it falls to us as, as Catholic individuals and communities to apply to real, real world situations. So I honestly think Catholic social teaching uh, should be more of a, frankly, an evangelistic uh, tool that we use with our uh, separated brethren, uh, Protestant brothers and sisters who are looking for an anchor uh, they're tied to the Word of God and to Scripture uh, and could, could use this and could benefit from this profound intellectual tradition.